Hey guys, welcome to another lecture from Basic Statistics. And today we will move a little further. In the previous class, we spoke about median. So what is median? Median, it's that value that divides the data set into two equal parts, right? Median is the middle value. Now, in case you want to divide your data set into some more parts, why, why, why can't we do that? We can do that, right? So we can divide the data into more than two such parts. And there comes the concept of quartiles, percentiles. So what is a quartile? When we talk about quartile, quartile sounds familiar to four parts, right? So quartiles divide the data set into four equal parts. Take it, median kya hota hai? Median is the middle value. It's a very robust estimator of location. But think about it. Kya median aapko left or right mein kis type ki values hain ye bata pa rahe? Median doesn't tell you anything about the values, the data on either side of it. So that is where quartiles come into picture. Quartile kya karega? Quartile will measure the spread of values above and below the median. So agar mein simple term mein bolo, aapka ye data jo hai, suppose your data starts from this point and it is still this point. And we have this data in ascending order. Ab aapka jo median hai, that is the middle point. This value, middle point, this is your median. Because it has done what 50% values here, 50% values here. Right? But it's not telling you anything about the values here. If I divide my data into four equal parts, so four equal parts being, so you can see one here, one bar here, one bar here, and that gives me four equal parts here. One part, two part, third part, and fourth part. So you have first quartile, second quartile, third quartile. Uh, you know, if I talk about the range. So first quartile range, second quartile range, and third quartile and fourth quartile range. Okay. Now, here the first quartile, isko hum, if we are talking about as a point, this is my first quartile. This is my first quartile point. It's called the lower quartile. And this is my third quartile point. It's called the upper quartile. So, isse kya ho jayega na? We'll get a fair idea about the kind of values we have on the left and right of the median. Sirf ye ne ki haan, median is the middle value. But hume ni pata aage kya values ja rahi hai, peechhe kya values ja rahi hai. How dispersed actually your data can be. You get a view to that by using the concept of quartile. Let's understand this pictorially once again. What is quartile doing? When we are talking about the concept of quartile, we are dividing our data into 25%, 25%, 25%, 25%. That is four equal parts. Okay. The first division occurs here. From the first value, the lowest value to this Q1 value. This is your first quartile. This is your first quartile. And this value is called lower quartile. Similarly, this part, the next 25% is your second quartile. This part is your third quartile. The point which is in between these two, second and third quartile, is your median. This Q2 is actually median. And then comes Q3. Q3 is upper quartile. And whatever comes after Q3, from Q3 to the last point is your fourth quartile. So this is how your data has been divided. Now, uh, between Q1 and Q3, all the values which are between Q1 and Q3, the range of values. 
This is the range of values from Q1 to Q3. It's called interquartile range. Now, what does interquartile range do? Interquartile range is basically trying to give you the spread around the median value. वो आपको बता देता है इट्स काइंड ऑफ अ मेजर ऑफ वेरिएबिलिटी व्हाट इज द काइंड ऑफ वैल्यूज अराउंड योर मीडियम लेट्स टेक एन एग्जांपल टू मैन्युअली फिगर आउट क्वार्टाइल्स सपोज अ डेटा इज 59 60 65 65 68 69 70 72 75 75 76 77 81 82 87 90 95 98 दिस इज योर डेटा इन असेंडिंग ऑर्डर I have already placed this data in ascending order. Remember always to keep the repeated values also. Now, what is your first quartile? We will calculate here Q1, Q2, and Q3. So we let's find Q1, Q2, Q3. So Q1 can be calculated. Q1 is n plus one into one by four. Q2 is the median. Q2 is the median value. So it is n plus 1 into 2 by 4. And Q3 is n plus 1 into 3 by 4. So you will observe Q1 is. Now how many values do I have here? I have. How many values do I have? So how many values do I have here? I have 19 points here. 19 plus 1, that makes 20, into 1 by 4, that gives you 5. 19 plus 1 into 2 by 4, that gives you 10. 19 plus 1 into 3 by 4, that gives you 15. So basically, 15. The value in the data set is your first quartile. Tenth value in the data set is your second quartile or median. Fifteenth value in this data set is your third quartile. So fifth value in the data set, one, two, three, four, five, sixty-eight is your first quartile or the lower quartile. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, seventy-five is your median value or Q2. 76, 77, 81, 82, 84. 84 is your upper quartile Q3. That's how you can actually find out your quartiles. Now, if we represent this data in this line, if we represent this line, mein agar hum isse represent karenge, then my first quartile basically is values are starting from 59. So 59 to 68 gives me my first quartile. Then 68 to 75 is my second quartile. And the third quartile is 75 to 84. And 84 to 96. I think 96 is the last. 98. 98 is your, up, uh, is your fourth quartile. In this, if someone asks you, what is the interquartile range? Interquartile range clearly will be from... Q1 that is 68 to Q3 that is 84. So the range is 68 to 84. And that gives you a decent idea of the spread of values around median. Kya samajara hai hape hame? Ki bhai median, the middle value is 74. But agar hum aspas ki values dekhe, to on, you know, 25% left, 25% right agar hum jate hai. So, we will see that 68 to 84 are going to the values. This means that the values are going to the next one and the next one is going to the next one. That's the picture of variability that you get from interquartile range. Now, some of you definitely must be thinking, what if the data set is even number of points? So, if your data is even number of points, how do you calculate your median? If I have to calculate median for this data, which I have already put up in ascending order, what will the median be? Median will be the average of 10 and 14. So, median is 12, right? Median value 12 आ गया आपके पास. अब आप क्या करेंगे? आपका data set divide हो गया है. आपका data set 50-50% में divide हो गया है. 10 और 14 के बीच. Right? So, the median value 
of the first half will be of first quartile or the lower quartile. The median value of the second half will be the second quartile. So, what do you do here? Between when you take 3, 3, 6, 8, 10. So, what is the median for 3, 3, 6, 8, 10? The median is 6. So, 6 becomes your Q1. And 14, 16, 19, 24. 16 is coming two times. 14, 16, 16, 19, 24. What is the median for that? 16 is the median for that. So that becomes your Q3. And that's how you can get your Q1, Q3 when your data set is even. Now, of course, we have a lot of softwares which will find out all this for you, but you need to know conceptually what it means. Thank you very much. I'll see you in the next lecture now.